Today on Free Fuel Training, we're taking a look at Safe Life Defense's flexible rifle armor. This is a pre-production prototype that they sent us for T&E, and unlike most rifle-rated body armor, this is not just a plate in a concealable carrier. This whole area, this whole vest, just like their soft armor level 3A and level 3A plus full coverage vests, is all proof against rifle rounds, front and back, or at least that's what they say. Now the vest comes in at a tick over 16 pounds. That puts it in the same weight category as ceramic plates in a carrier. But you get a huge increase in the coverage area that you get when you're wearing this vest. At least so the story goes. Now the plates are flexible. It's not soft armor, but you can see there's a significant amount of flex in it so it can conform to your body. As long as it's sized correctly, I can wear it underneath my uniform shirt with some pants and a duty belt and everything fits okay. It's actually a little more comfortable than wearing a ceramic plate up front in front of soft body armor like I've been doing in the past. Now we're going to start off with a 16 inch carbine shooting Fioshi soft point 223 and then we're going to step it up to there and see if we can get a round that will go through the vest. So we're going to start off with Fioshi soft point 223. This is my duty ammo. They make higher protection levels than this in their flexible armor, but this is the one that I think most people are gonna be interested in because it's the one that's rated all 223 rounds. We're gonna see what it stops. Take a look. So here's our hit right over here. And then underneath, there really isn't any deformation on the board. The back of the vest isn't even messed up. So much for all that energy. Let's go try something a little heavier. Next we're gonna shoot just a 55 grain ball at the vest. It's just a 223 standard, but it's a FMJ round. So here's our hit over here and the back of the vest isn't messed up, and you can see just light abrasion over here on the wood. We're also going to shoot M855, the old green tip round that we had problems with with some level 3 rifle plates. You see over down here, we've got our impact. And then a very, very mild dent in the board, but nothing even messed up on the back of this vest cover. So here you go, we got a single round of M193. You can see the red primer on the back. Take a look down here. We've got, here's our impact point. Got a little bit of dent back here and I can feel that the vest is a little deformed from it. We're going to have to take this apart and look. There's a whole lot going on in here with all that energy getting dissipated, but it definitely stopped it, didn't mess up the back. There isn't a whole bunch of back face deformation. That's pretty impressive for a vest, especially when that covers all of this area. <laughs> so my morbid curiosity is getting the best of me and I got to see with my duty ammo, which is the Fioshi 55 grain soft point, if we can get this to go through by shooting multiple rounds close to each other. We're going to do it at like contact distance almost. Let's check that. So there's our hits right here. They're all uh, pretty close to each other. Ooh, I can't tell if that went through or if it just made a whole bunch of back face deformation. I'll have to pull it apart to find out. All right, now we're gonna try 123 grain 762 by 39 because even though it's not rated for it, we gotta know. Broke the board. 
There's that. Here's our 762 by 39. It's the big hole. And then we got a whole bunch of puffing up of the vest on the back. And then here's our dent from it. So our only question with the vest is whether multiple rounds went through because they landed like right on top of each other here. I shot three of them. Or if this is back face deformation, we'll know that when we take it apart. But uh, otherwise, your soft point, the ball, M855, M193, and 762 by 39 ball all stops at at least single rounds on the vest. Now, it doesn't really help much if it stops rifle rounds, but it doesn't work for pistol rounds. And that was my first thought when I saw this vest too. So we're going to shoot the high point C9 again, like we normally do on armor tests, with some 115 grain 9 millimeter ball. Just your, your common criminal stuff. Let's take a look. So here's our hits with the high point C9, and you got like nothing. It doesn't doesn't really do anything to it at all. So it's not shocking. And finally, our 240 grain 44 mag test. Does that make sure it still meets the level 3A standard? Think we're shooting something heavy there or something so here's our hole from the 44 mag there isn't even anything messed up on the carrier and your back face deformation is just kind of a little dent crack the board a little bit so that's our testing of the safe life defense flexible rifle armor like i said it's only rated for 223 it's a brand new thing it's a pre-production prototype all of that but if you consider the vest tests that we've done in the past where we stacked six eight vests together and shot them with uh, 30 carbine and it was going through multiple vests and two just two two three ball and it was going through multiple vests and seven six two by thirty nine was going through what is it like seven eight vests? I think it was like eight at the end of Yeah it was like eight vests it went through. For one layer, I'd say that's pretty good. Especially one layer that you can actually wear. Now you have to actually get this stuff in your hands and try it on so that you can fully appreciate the that it's flexible and not soft and that you're basically looking at one big panel like a, a flexible rifle plate that you can wrap around yourself but i think that this is definitely going to have a place in the marketplace especially considering it allows you to have rifle protection that you can wear easily when you're in a car whereas when you try putting a level three polyethylene plate on your back and sitting in a car for eight or ten hours that's something that most people just aren't willing to do it's very very uncomfortable to do whereas with this no hot spots it just sits there just like a normal vest I also want to talk briefly about the other applications that this could have. You're watching this, and right now the price is fairly significant on these, at least from what I've heard. The MSRP is going to be a whole bunch for these. You can go check out that link down below again to see what it ends up being when it does actually come to market. But this, imagine this in a 10 by 12 or an 11 by 14 rifle plate, or as a seat backer for a car that you can move from car to car, up armoring vehicles, like putting this stuff type of thing into a door. That could be a really huge application for this stuff that's going to make up-armoring vehicles, up-armoring squad cars, being able to, to put it into doors, tight places that you normally couldn't armor because you'd have to wrap things around. There's lots of stuff I could see this coming in handy with. Throw your ideas down in the comments down below what you'd like to see this shot up against, what armor protection levels you'd like to see in the future, and what you think this could have an application for in the future other than just armor vests for people. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. Oh, and uh, stick around for us taking this apart afterward. All right, we have to know, so before we take it apart, what happens if you shoot it the wrong way? So you shoot it on the label side, you put the armor on backward. I gotta know. I have a feeling it didn't work. So here's our hole coming through this way. Oh yeah. Yeah, it goes straight through. I guess that tells us if the other one likely went through or not. I guess we'll see when we take it apart, but uh, definitely only works one way. 
so here's our flexible armor now taken down. You can see all of the holes all over the front, including the through and through from when we shoot it backward to see if it was unidirectional, and the three rounds right on top of each other of 223 soft point. We're going to flip it over here. You can see where the back of our three rounds of 223 soft point. One of them came through after reviewing the video. I'm sure you guys all saw that. And then our hit from the backs when we shot the label side going through and the round went through because it only stops rounds going one direction as most armor does if you do the same thing to a mosaic ceramic plate it would also go through most armor is unidirectional but it was interesting to see in this video so we're going to take this apart here and try to see what happened and what we can glean from trying to disassemble this a little bit So that the carrier's off, you can see all the hits with 223 soft point, M855, M193, 55 grain ball. None of those single shots went through. We've got one hole here from when we fired it the backward way, and then what looks like it a hole here. We're going to have to dig deeper to see what that is. We're going to start off at the front, and I'm going to zoom you guys in so you get a good look at what's going on here. Looks like we're going to have to dig from the back. See if we can peel this away from the back and get to the rounds here. There we go. There we are. So here's one of the rounds that was stopped. Try to dig this out here. There we go. That's what's left. So a little anticlimactic, but what we learned from this is that the rounds are so distorted by going through the vest that there isn't a whole lot to recover. You can kind of see there's little pieces of copper and stuff all over the place inside this vest. We learned that it stops M855, M193, 223 ball, uh, 223 soft point, 9 mil, and 44 mag. In fact, 9mm and 44 mag, there wasn't even a whole lot of back face deformation. We learned that it stops most of the back face deformation. I was expecting huge back face deformation. We didn't have a whole lot compared to other vests that we've shot, as you can see here. And from the video, it appears as though one round of any of the 223s, it'll stop. Two rounds of at least the 223 soft point, real close on top of each other, it'll stop. But three rounds, we know the third round definitely went in, but they were, they were right smack on top of each other. So there's enough of the material destroyed by the first two rounds that the third one could get through. That still puts it either at or exceeding what you would expect from a monolithic or a mosaic ceramic plate. So it's pretty good showing. Make sure you leave me some uh, comments and questions down in the description. I'll do my best to answer them and maybe give us some ideas on what to do with the back plate from this vest when we take it out and shoot it again if people have some good ideas. All right, take it easy. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. While you're here, check out one of our other videos or 
head on over to the Patreon and see how you can get your name put on your videos like these fine folks over here. All the links are in the description, of course. We'll see you guys next time.